there was a student of Zen who had great promise. He came to his master one day and said, Master, I've been struggling with my meditations. It has been a terrible struggle. I'm very frustrated. I can't seem to stay alert. I want to fidget all over the place. My mind's going crazy. Thoughts seem to be bombarding my mind. Zen master looked at the student and said, this shall pass. The student went away, continued to practice his meditation. A week later, he came back to the master and said, Master, 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 I'm so excited. What you said was true. My frustrations have passed. Today I woke up and I have been enjoying my meditations. It's really been such a joy. My mind seems to be still. No thoughts. I have been able to stay still and be at rest. The master looked at the student and said, this too shall pass. You see, everything that you're trying to do, all the effort that you're putting into life will pass. Yes, all the effort that you're giving to this job to make that money, to have that house or that car, or whatever it is, the food and the possessions, the big screen TVs and computers and technologies, they'll pass. Matter of fact, the technology that you're watching this video on right now, I guarantee you in a couple years, right now you it might be state of the art and you might be ultra thankful for that thing, you showing it off to everybody. Within a couple years, you won't even like it anymore. You'll be wishing you had you could turn it in for the next best thing. It'll pass. Your feelings towards your iPhone or computer, TV, house even, job, it'll pass. I've had many assistants come and go over the years that would come and assist me in my travels, assist me in uh, for media and various other things. And they would almost always come and be very excited. Students would come from around the world to come and sit with me in meditation or come to various events or silent retreat or flow event or whatever it might be. Very excited. It will pass. Everything that you're doing, that you're putting that effort into will pass. The only thing that does not pass, the unmovable thing, is what you truly are. Who and what you truly are will never pass. And so understand this, that when non-fabrication or non-action, that is the effortless manifestation of what you are, begins to flow free of the need to think or overthink or reason or rationalize what it is to do, then this non-fabrication springs forth from your belly. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. It springs forth from your belly and produces life. In other words, it is effortless and it is long-lasting. Not just the actions or the result or of the actions, the fruit of the actions, but more than that. It's just an eternal action that is here and then let go of. And so I just want to encourage you, your troubles, if you've been practicing meditation like that Zen student, let it go. It doesn't matter whether you're having frustration or whether you're having a great time doing it. Experience whatever it is to experience. If you're having frustrations, experience those frustrations. Sink into those frustrations and then let them go. If you're having a great time and you feel peace and at rest and at joy, Experience that peace, that rest, that joy, and then let it go. Don't cling to it. The thing you cling to, you will lose. Don't cling to it. Don't cling to anything. Hold all things loosely. For all things are impermanent. What is not impermanent is what and who you truly are.